So here we go. We're going to be taking a look at some retro games today, specifically some games from the Evercade. So Evercade, they sent me their latest four cartridges. I'm going to do a quick video for each one of these, but today we're going to be taking a look at the Sunsoft Collection 1. I really like what Evercade does. I know it's not for everyone, but that's fine. Can't Not everybody could be into everything. And even for people who are into the Evercade, maybe you're not going to be into every release that they put out. That's just the way it is. I haven't been into every single one of them, but you know what? The Sunsoft Collection, I was pretty excited to check this one out. It's only got six games, but you know, come on, like quality over quantity, that's, that's a good thing. But sometimes with these retro games, you do want a bigger collection. But I think from what I've seen so far with what we have here, I, I think this is a, a nice little set of games from Sunsoft. So we've got six games. Arrow the Acrobat, Arabian, Blaster Master, Blaster Master Boy, Journey to Silius, and Mr. Gimmick. Now, I have not played all these games before. I'm aware of most of them, but I've only played a few, and I think we do have some heavy hitters here. Really cool stuff, but let's get into this. I've already played each one of these games a little bit, so we'll talk about each one, kind of my impressions, but we'll jump into them. So, Arrow the Acrobat. So here we go, Circus to Act 1, find seven star platforms. So I've been playing this game a little bit. Uh, I'm fully aware of Arrow the Acrobat. I remember seeing this game back in the day, but I was just never interested. Like you had all these um, little mascot freaking character games back in the day and they all kind of, you know, average maybe. Like they weren't all bad games or anything. You know, you had stuff like Bubsy, uh, you know, freaking what was what was the freaking little gecko dude man there's so many games gex yeah gex there you go but this one was one that i just never paid any attention to it looks like a good game for you know graphics wise for a 16-bit game but i just don't like the 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 controls of this game it feels very um i i don't know a little floaty at times uh attacking the enemies is a little difficult if you don't have any projectiles and i think you have to collect the projectiles right but like like i think these stars you could like shoot stars yeah see i just wasted them but uh otherwise you have to do these like jump spin moves and it's kind of hard to aim so it's it's a little annoying it's a little frustrating and then the premise of the stages like this one i probably already skipped some uh I, I think I may have, but you would go up like this stuff right here, these these platforms. We gotta get rid of all the star platforms. There's seven of them. I just got rid of a couple of them. So then other stages, maybe like you have to find a key or something. It's There's no like direct path forward to complete the stage. You may like miss something that you needed in order to, to finish a stage and stuff like that man freaking the stupid fire hoop just kills you this is this is a game i don't really like much it's kind of average it's not horrible but for me honestly after having played every game on this collection this is this is one of the weaker ones for me to be honest with you but let's go ahead and move on oh there's another one right there see a little star platform how do i get up there because you can't just like jump you gotta like uh, so you gotta kind of angle it right to do that stupid uh, hit that guy with the star there we go okay let's exit this so here we go arabian uh this is an arcade style game i'm aware of this game from the arcade i've seen it on plenty of like emulation builds uh, I, I actually kind of like this one so i think in the manual it says to like collect the uh the little pots in order like whatever the let like to spell a word i don't even know if you you know what the word is so you just have to look at it and kind of figure it out but you could like run jump kick jump kick uh. you just got to get all of the the letters and then you move on to the next stage so it's you know old school you know arcade game trying to get a, a high score normally not the kind of game i enjoy but i i do like this kind of stuff uh at times when it's done well this does have a few issues like with uh, climbing, jumping, and, and catching these vines and stuff. I noticed it's kind of annoying at times. Uh, sometimes when you're trying to jump and kick an enemy, it may seem like you should have hit him. But yeah, you know, not not my normal style of game, but I'm actually, I've been having a lot of fun with it. See, like I was trying to kick that guy 
he freaking killed me. One good thing is, like, you don't have to start over. Like, you start over at the bottom, but a lot of these stages, like, you can, uh, you can sneak your way back up somehow, and then just whatever was left, as far as the pots go, that's what's left. And then you move on. So this is a fun one. I think it's cool. Next up is Blaster Master. Who doesn't love Blaster Master? I'm sure there's somebody out there who doesn't like Blaster Master, and that is fine. I think from back in the day, the reason I like this game, and it, it can be a little challenging, like especially even the beginning part right here, um, just with the way, like you just kind of get to get accustomed to the tank, but like this game is just so unique, and for the time that it came out, and the graphics, like this looked really good for its time, and I think it still holds up mostly to today, but being able to explore, you know, go around as the tank and then exit your tank and, and, and do even more exploration, uh, it's a lot of fun and very unique for its time. You know, for a game to have like a lot more, you know, have, you know, be a lot more complex than most games that were coming out in the 80s, this is pretty damn cool. So I think up here, yeah. We have a ladder right there. And, and you know, like, I'm taking some damage right here. But in the tank, there's a lot of enemies that, that drop the little power-ups. Hit select. Now, one thing, like, you don't, as the little dude outside of the tank, you don't want to, like, have too far of a fall. You will kill yourself if you just try to slide off of the uh, that ladder. Like, you only have a certain distance. And then here, press down to go inside. Changes view again. It's really awesome. Ah. You can kill those. There we go. So I, I think it's cool. This is a fun game. Very varied. Very varied. This is probably one of the uh, the better games on this collection. I mean, a lot of these games are really good, but this is definitely uh, you know one of the the award winners here. And then talking of Blaster Master, we have Blaster Master Boy. I've never played this one before, and it kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. I thought, oh, it's gonna be like. A Game Boy version of Blaster Master, and essentially it is, but you're like in the labyrinth type stuff that you would be in in Blaster Master when you exit the tank and, and go through those certain areas. But here you're like dropping bombs. You could select different bombs if you acquire them, um, and you're just trying to find your way through the uh, the little labyrinth here. So little Bomberman action, little you know Blaster Master action. I think this is the right way to go. Let's blow that up. Like, you could go through the entire labyrinth and just find tons of items. I think there's a key right here. Yep. There we go. And I'm noticing from the last time I played this, like, there was enemies above those little spots right there. So it seems like it just randomly generates where some of the enemies are going to be. And that's essentially it. Like, you just keep progressing through these labyrinths. I already knew where to go with that one, so that's why I wasn't, like... <laughs> too shocked, but it would have been to my benefit, I think, to try to find more weapons and power-ups and whatnot while I was in there before I came here. But, hey, you know what? This game is cool. It's 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 really growing on me. I dig it. Like, so far, I think this collection is probably up there for me. One of my top favorites from uh, the team over there at Evercade as far as, you know, the selection of games and the quality of them. Next up, Journey to Cilius. So this is the one that was originally supposed to be based off of the first Terminator movie, I believe. And then for whatever reason, the licensing changed. They're, they didn't have the licensing. And then they just decided to go in a different direction, continue it. Instead of just like, oh, well, we don't have the license to make it. Let's just discard it. No, they used what they had and made something new. And this is a really fun game. It can be a little difficult at times. Uh, you do get different weapons. Watch out for those stupid bombs that fall. But if you hit pause, yeah, like you can... They look like an NES zapper almost. The handgun, shotgun. Um, there's a machine gun as well. There's a few different weapons that you'll find uh, before you get to the, the first boss anyway. Or, you know, if you're lucky enough to find them. Uh, you don't necessarily need them. This does have it set up where, like, this is turbo. So you can just turbo fire your, your gun uh, using the X button. Then here, I don't know if that little glitch up above, like with the bottom of the stage kind of floating, I don't know if that's like in the original version of the game, but this boss here, this stupid helicopter, like these alien things are gonna pop out. I think you gotta kill like three of them. Uh, it can be a little a little tough because they're jumping around and throwing knives at you or something. 
You gotta kill three of them, then you gotta destroy the, the helicopter. But yeah, fun game. But let's get to the, the final game. This game, I've always heard of Mr. Gimmick. I have never played it. Upon first look, it's kind of like, don't judge a book by its cover. I thought it was a, a game for babies, a baby game. This is not a game for babies. Holy crap. When I first started playing, I was like, oh, it kind of reminds me of, like, has a Kirby look to it. This game's way more difficult than Kirby. This is a, this is a challenging-ass game. Holy crap. So, I don't know the, the story behind this game. I, I, I don't freaking know. I just know you're this little dude. You could make these little stars and throw them at, at things. But holy crap like yeah it doesn't start out too bad like oh these little bomb dudes coming at you it's really not bad but then when you got to start timing your jumps even here like if you don't like really uh pay attention you hit those little water needle spike things you're dead that's it so you got to run through here you know there's kind of gravity pulling you back down these damn um ramps and whatnot Oh my god, this part was easy and I couldn't pass it right now. But yeah, this is a... This is... Don't judge a book by its cover, man. This is freaking a good game, dude. And I've never played it before. I think maybe it was like one of those things where I seen it. And it's like, ah, oh, it's not going to be my style of game. But this here, really, man, like... One of the, the best games on this collection. Watch this part. Like, this is... Uh, you got to jump before that thing drops you. A tricky ass game, man. Then here, like, all right, you gotta be careful. You know, jumping can be a little slippery at times. Then here, it's like, what the hell? Like you're sliding around a little. Much. That's the one thing that I, that criticizes how slippery it feels at times. See, like I just slipped off that platform. That's my criticism of the game. The slipperiness makes this game a little more difficult than it needs to be. But regardless. It's really good. It's fun. This is like Sunsoft at its best, I think. A really cool game. Worth playing. So there you go. Sunsoft Collection. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think. Bye.